Within Madagascar are a series of thousands of needle-like pinnacles which jet out from the ground by as much as 100 meters or 328 feet, forming a unique scenery and geologic landform referred to as Sengni. This stone forest, due to its rough terrain, makes it difficult to cross, hence its name, which roughly translates in the Malagasy language to where one cannot walk barefoot, happening to be fairly obvious advice. Yet, the name Sini is used to describe two separate geologic oddities on the island, as while the Grey Sini is the more famous of the two, there is also Sini Rouge, 855 kilometers to the northeast. Sini Rouge consists of a different rock type known as laterite, which, based on its coloration, is rich in iron and aluminum. This laterite formed due to weathering by an adjacent series of rivers and drainages where erosion and running water preferentially cut away at non laterite sediments over millions of years. Thus, what was left behind was a series of red karst-like landforms which were not composed of limestone. As for the Grey Sini, which covers an area of more than 1,000 square kilometers, it has a very different origin, having formed in parts over more than 100 million years. At the beginning of the Jurassic period 200 million years ago, Madagascar was part of the vast Pangaea supercontinent, being squeezed between the African mainland to the west, India to the east, and Antarctica to the south. Wall dinosaurs lived in Madagascar at the time, which had a comparably warmer, albeit still humid climate when compared to today, geologic upheaval was about to begin. Within the next 10 million years, Madagascar along with Antarctica would separate from the African landmass. This caused the western quarter of Madagascar to drop below sea level, becoming the site of a shallow sea with numerous lagoons. Within the shallow sea, corals and hard-shelled creatures flourished, going on to create numerous reefs over millions of years. After these creatures died, their hard parts fell to the bottom, forming a thick layer of calcium carbonate-rich rock. Over time, this became a more than 300 meter or 984 foot thick layer of limestone. Eventually, the global sea level dropped, which caused the pressure on previously covered layers of limestone topped crust to decrease. This caused the crust to rebound upwards, causing the limestone to be uplifted by more than 100 meters. Although India would eventually separate from Madagascar, it would once again collide with the island 130 million years ago. This created an orogeny, causing large amounts of strain to be placed on the rock units, causing them to become tilted downwards to the west. After India once again separated from the island, the orogeny stopped, and this was followed by many millions of years of erosion. This caused three prominent rock units to become exposed with the oldest rock to the east and the youngest rock to the west. This is why the Gracini landforms exist along a fairly long north to south trend, which is quite narrow in the east to west orientation. Eventually, the limestone became re-exposed on the surface, allowing it to experience heavy weathering due to rainfall. Calcium carbonate, which is the primary component of limestone, has a basic pH, while average rainfall has a pH of around 5.7. Thus, when heavy rainfall affected the area, the slightly aesthetic rainwater dissolved small amounts of calcium carbonate, being preferentially eroded in both naturally weak points and along fault lines. This process continued for tens of millions of years to create steep karst terrain pillars, creating the modern Saini. Karst terrain landforms around the planet have formed a spectacular array of similar landforms, although Saini is quite notable. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.